In the dismal smog of a December day, China put its state police on display as the show trial of its best-known human rights lawyer got underway inside Beijing No. 2 Intermediate People's Court. <laughs> Plainclothes and uniformed police blocked media attempts to report the appearance of Pu Jiang, champion of free speech. Pu Jiang is innocent, the banner reads. His alleged crime, seven social media posts for which he's charged with inciting ethnic hatred and stirring up trouble. He was my lawyer, this writer and activist says. I want to come to his defense now. He's done nothing wrong. If I don't speak out, we'll continue to be repressed just like this said this protester who'd traveled hundreds of miles just to be here. An American diplomat was then stopped from speaking as he appealed to the government to uphold its commitments to civil and human rights law. Eleven Western diplomats were denied access to the court. China's legal institutions heard the case in question in accordance with the law. China's law enforcement authorities carried out order management at the scene in accordance with the law. Pu Jiang, a Tiananmen protest veteran, has been held without trial since May 2014. He was arrested as he commemorated the 1989 massacre. In a land of 650 million internet users, where Facebook and YouTube, Twitter and Instagram are all banned. A search for the words Tiananmen Massacre yields no results. Weibo, the government-sanctioned alternative to Twitter, is strictly policed. Hence, Pu Jiang's problem. Chinese law states that freedom of expression can be revoked only when it poses a real threat. But in his seven posts on Weibo, not a single one poses a real threat to society. In this document, Pu Jiang's lawyer spells out his seven posts on Weibo. They sardonically questioned party policy towards Muslim Uyghurs in far western Xinjiang and in Buddhist Tibet. They raised questions about an alleged cover-up after a fatal high-speed train crash and an oil pipeline explosion. And they mercilessly mocked Communist Party officials. In the year President Xi Jinping visited London, State repression in China was worse than it's been in two decades. Pu Jiang was one of more than 250 human rights lawyers rounded up. Among those he's defended, the activist artist Ai Weiwei. The two share an irreverent contempt for the Communist Party and its strong-arm strategies. Both, as iconoclastic as they are influential, and in some quarters, feared.